Hold on to your tea tight, cause I already spilled mine. Loving, I'm living, so we turn it up. Yeah, we turn it up. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. Then after you subscribe, make sure to follow my other social medias. They should pop down below in one of these spots so we can stay connected. 99.99% of the time if you tweet me, I'll tweet you back. Anyways, okay, so we're back with episode, of course. But there's literally only three more episodes left, which is kind of sad. But if you thought I wasn't gonna play season two on this channel, then you thought wrong. But I'm also gonna start a new game with even more drama at the same time. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, anyways, let's get into episode because I'm ready for all the tea, all the drama, and all the moms grounding me for life. Brody's gone away to Costin Acres Academy Amy took me to go see him and I couldn't believe it. He said he left to give me a better chance of setting things right. But how can my life be right without him by my side? Amy and I waited a while until everyone went to bed. Then we crept into the main hall of Brody's dorm. I'm so scared right now. Please don't let us get caught. Holy smokes! This is like the fanciest place I've ever been in my life. I don't know. I think it's creepy. What could be creepy about a... I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Military school for troubled rich kids. Well, first there's the money they use to buy their way out of things. Probably the hazing traditions. And don't forget about- Okay, I get it. It's creepy. Let's just find Brody and sneak out with him, okay? And then what? What do you mean? If we get out of here with Brody, how long does that last? Obviously he can't stay with you. No. And his parents will know he's not there. I'm trying to look at this from all angles, but I don't know if this works out for you in the end. She's right. It will. I know it will. When you're blinded by love. I believe you want that more than anything, but I'm just trying to be realistic. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. How though? I, I don't know, I just, I just know, you know? No, we don't know. Okay, let's be quick then. Which way are we going? Let's head to the right or let's head to the left. Um, I always head to the left because I'm left-handed, but last time we headed to the left, we ended up in Brody's mom's room, remember? So let's go to the right. Sounds good, after you. Super scared, but I've gotta keep moving forward. Okay, let's go. Please don't run into the sergeant or we are dead meat. Oh great, we're in the kitchen. Shoulda went left. Okay, so he's probably not in the kitchen. Let's keep looking. What? Somebody's coming. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Not the best choice. We went the wrong way. They're coming this way. Run. Oh my God. But someone was coming from that way too. We shook. Hide under the, the damn oven. What do we do? Hide in the shelf. The shelf? Do you have a better idea? You right. Oh, he cute. Hello. What are you doing here? Calm down, dude. It's just me. Sorry, Bronson. Came here to lick your wounds. Get some ice, yeah. I can't believe that casing kid. Oh no. He's a freak of nature. One minute we're beating him up and the next he just springs to action and takes us both down. Yeah, it's like he was waiting for the sergeant to leave and then bam. I know, but that's only gonna last so long. What does that mean? He got some good hits in, but so did we. And if the sergeant wants us to keep tearing into him, we're gonna break him. I don't know. We've roughed up guys before, but no one like this. Don't you hurt my man. I'm gonna make sure that Brody Kaysen doesn't survive costing acres. Ex I think I gotta steer clear from now on. Don't be a wuss, man. We can take him. But did you see the look in his eyes? Dude, that Brody kid is terrifying. I'm done. Sue yourself. Get some rest. You too. What? That thing about killing my boo? Oh, no, 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 no. The last time I saw Brody, these two clowns were coming at him. Looks like my man knows how to handle himself. But the way that one kid was talking, Brody can't stay here. Once they were gone, Amy and I kept looking. We kept looking for Brody, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Brody apparently beat the crap out of those two guys. Which makes sense, but I bet he's not too popular here. Once we checked just about every room in the place, we made our way downstairs. 
Ooh, this looks like you get kidnapped and you end up here. Oh, we've been kidnapped before. Yikes. Okay, we're officially in the creepiest place on earth. I know, but we need to find Brody. I told you, I'm going to stay here until she realizes that I love Allie more than anything. And I honestly don't give a crap what you think. Sure, tell her whatever you need to, as long as it helps her understand everything. Thank you. Understand what? Love cake, you found me. Oh my God, honey, are you okay? Cause this place crazy. Nothing I can't handle. What happened after I left? Cronies, cronies, what is that? The stupid ass sergeant and his cronies came by to pay me a visit. I heard the guys who attacked you. They said you ended up beating the crap out of them. Can you blame me? They're tools. But why? Why wouldn't you just end it right away? I had to put on a good show. But please, Brody, I don't understand. I can't be a total troublemaker here, but I also can't let those guys think they can push me around. So once they've done their job in front of the sergeant, I let them know who's really in charge. You don't have to do that, and you don't need to be here. Come home with me. I can't. Why not? Because it's not enough to give you some space for your folks to calm down. I also need to show them I'm serious. Can't you do that by joining a group or something at our school? Costin Acres is a tough place, but if you can survive, the people they turn out are world-class heroes. Leaders, not heroes, I can't read. So you're gonna punish yourself on purpose? Don't do that. How else am I gonna show your mom who I really am? Please, Allie, let me do this. For us, for you, for me. I, I want you to come home. But if this is something you have to do, then you have to do it. I knew you'd understand, and it won't be forever. No, it'll just feel like it. I'm serious, I'm Brody Kaysen. I get what I want, and I want you. I want you too. Ah. I just don't know how I'm gonna bear this alone. You won't be alone. I'll be there. OMG, if you say in your heart, I swear I will beat the living on weekends. I'll be there on weekends. Okay. You're cute. You're not so bad yourself. What do we do? Go home, go to bed, get up and work hard. Are you saying we're just gonna be a couple of lame people who just do what they're told? Cause newsflash, we don't do that anymore. No. We're lovers who are secretly planning their next passionate, ardent affair. I can get used to that. Me too. Now go. Either someone is going to find you or Amy is going to kill you for staying out so late. Okay. But first I wanted to give you this. Is this? I reached into my pocket and pulled out my journal. The very same. I'm sorry I kept it so long. Take a look. It's all there. Wait. What's this? Dear dumbass, we were sitting in another one of Mr. Jacobson's boring ass lectures when we finally noticed each other. Do you like it? What you were writing before, the stuff about the black dagger, that was just a part of your story. And this stuff? I decided to add the first chapters of our story. This is amazing. You're amazing. Aw, that was cute. Thank you. And for the record, I think we're amazing. It's got everything that's happened to us and there's a space for what happens next. I love you, Allie. I can't wait to read it. I love you too. Now get over here, Kaysen. We're so cute. Ooh, y'all wanted me to go to the dance with Tyler and I almost did. I'm so glad I didn't. Amy and I used our mad sneaking skills to get out of there and head back home. After talking with Brody, it was clear. He was right. If we're gonna have a chance at happiness, the worst thing to do would be to act out. To be troublemakers. Instead, we're going to focus on school and work hard. We're going to show them we can handle the responsibility of our love. Amy dropped me off at home and I snuggled into bed, feeling lonely, but also better. Certain that Brody and I had a future. Together. Aww! Okay, Mom, I'm heading off to... Oh my gosh. What? Are they kissing again? <gasps> what is she doing here? Miss Kaysen, what are you doing here? Marie was telling me all about her son. I spoke with Brody last night. There are some things that need to be said. What? Honey, I knew there was something off about Brody, but I never knew how far that went. Hey, you just can't. Please, dear, let your mother speak. Marie told me about the Black Dagger and what they did to Brody. 
Mom, you just can't assume that because he went through something like that, he's bad. I also told your mother about how you saved my bullheaded son in Paris. Without you, who knows where he'd be? You told her that? Uh-oh. I couldn't very well let your mother walk around believing that you just ran away to Paris for fun, could I? You're a hero, honey. Plain and simple. <gasps> she finally believes me. Does that mean Brody can come back? My son is not that simple, love. Do you know what an act of contrition is? Of course. But why don't you explain it? In case my mom doesn't know. It's when you do something to show how sorry you are for something. When you make things right. But Brody didn't do anything wrong. Honey, he's in charge of his own actions, despite what someone may have done to him. Brody feels that this is what he needs to do to show everyone how sorry he is. And knowing Brody, once he puts his mind to something, he does it. Oh, I just thought, it's okay. He put his mind to getting you, and look where you are now. She right. Miserable without him? No. Better for having grown up a bit more and teaching my son to be better every day. I'll leave you two alone. She told you everything? She did. Are you mad? Yes, but not in the same way I was mad when Ellis told me everything. Because Ellis probably lied. What do you mean? I'm mad, but I'm mad at myself for not paying attention. You've been through so much and I wanna be there for you as best as I can. Finally, you're there for me. Not like you need me to be. Not in a way that helps. And realizing that is shocking and terrifying. It's not that bad. You could have been killed in Paris. And I didn't even realize you even left the city. Much less the country. I know. And I didn't mean to do that. It's just, let me finish. I want you to know that you don't have to go through these things alone. I am here and I'm on your side. Always. I love you, baby. I love you too, mom. But does this mean I'm not grounded anymore? Oh, you're still crazy grounded. And if you want to get started on this new open relationship, you can tell me all about your trip to Brody's school last night. The tea! I... I was gonna tell. Now you are. Get to school. We'll talk tonight. Man. Bye, mama. I wish school would last a long, long time now. Okay, Allie. If Brody's gonna be tough at his school, I have to do the same at mine. Here goes nothing. Oh, great. Great! Oh, I'm sorry, Allie. This must be uncomfortable for you with Brody away. You can't kiss your man whenever you want. Good thing you're doing enough for the both of us. You're just jealous. No, I'm not. And you still got that cowgirl outfit on. Leave her alone, Lola. Don't defend her. She thinks she can do whatever she wants without anyone saying anything. But you can't, okay? Actions have consequences. You're telling me about consequences? <laughs> Right, that's enough. No, it's not. She needs to be put in her place. What? All right, Lola, I've had enough, but I can't be a troublemaker. Okay, let's look at the choices. Be strong for Brody, let her have it. I'm being strong for Brody because he's being strong at school. Even though he is beating up people at school. I'm gonna be strong for Brody. You're a disgusting boyfriend stealing lying skank. And you're no better than your prison rat father. Can I go back and let her have it? Cause I wanna, I wanna fight. Lola. Don't worry, Tyler. You don't have to defend me. I bet you're only saying that because you wanna get your hands on him now that Brody left you. Literally, nobody cares about you, Lola. Look, Lola, I get it. I really do. Get what? Are you gonna tell us another one of your lame facts or something? No, it's simple. You don't like yourself. You let yourself be defined by your relationship with guys or your boobs or your hair. No, I don't. And that you lash out at people because deep down, you're trying to fill a void. Self promo right quick, download my song, Fill the Void. It's a bop, back to the story. Fill a void in your heart. You don't know anything. But the problem is, you don't know what you're missing because you don't know yourself. That's not true. It's why you're a jerk to me, why you pushed Ellis into being terrible and why you're always looking for the next guy. Dang, I'm reading her like a book. Gathering her together. I, what? I want you to know that I don't hate you for that. I, I will make your life a living hell. You already have, but if you feel the need to continue, I won't stop you. But I also can't get too mad about it. She's so mad because I'm not freaking out on her and I like it. Come on, Tyler, we're leaving. 
Bye. You can go after her. I don't mind. Do you think that's true? What you just said? Oh, yes, I do. I read her like a book. That's why she walked away. In her non-Vivian LaFleur. Mostly. I don't know. The fact is, I've hurt enough people and I don't want to do it anymore. I've hurt you. Yeah, we've been pretty bad lately, haven't we? I know it won't be easy, but I do miss you in my life. I miss your friendship. Same. Do you think we could ever be friends again? I don't know. Hmm. That was not the answer I was uh, going for. But given some time and Lola calming down, I'm willing to try. Better answer. Me too. I'll see you soon, Allie. Bye. Who knows? Maybe things will be okay after all. So I went to class and paid attention, something I do not do. I hung out with Amy and Isaac and helped my mom with Carrie. I helped with student council events and volunteered after school. I baked cupcakes and saw movies and slowly but surely wasn't grounded anymore. And of course, I called and Skyped and visited Brody every chance I had. Turns out, after the first incident with those guys attacking him, things calmed down. He was doing well in school and started playing football again. Oh my gosh, his butt looks so good in those football pants. Okay, totally my favorite part of going to his games. Soon, it felt like Brody wasn't such a bad boy anymore. Cadet Kaysen, are you smoking on my field? I don't know. Why don't you send your cronies to check? See how well they fare. You're lucky you're my best running back. Otherwise, you'd be binged. Lucky, lucky me. He's still Brody Kaysen. Okay, so maybe Brody is still a bad boy. But he's a sweet one. It wasn't easy, but soon we found our normal. It wasn't perfect. But to us, just knowing we have each other's love is enough. Time went by so fast, it was already time for our winter dance. She wore the same dress. That's my friend though, so it's cool. Thank you everyone for making our winter dance our absolute best. Which is saying a lot because we have like a gazillion dances every year. They do. Seriously, it's like all you guys want to do is shake it. Me. Anyway, to crown our ice king and queen, I would like to bring up to the stage our newly appointed student council vice president, Allie Indigo. I'm the vice president of the school. Well, student council, which is the school. Uh, hi guys, super great to be here at this dance. I mean, I'm not doing much dancing. My boyfriend goes to a different school, so he can't be here. Brody, Brody Kaysen, he used to go here. Dude, get on with it. Right, right, okay. I mean, I would be dancing if Brody were here. Allie, sorry, okay, Ice King and Queen. The Ice King and Queen of the Winter Dance are... Oh, dude, awesome! It's Amy and Sebastian. Aw, seriously? Shall we shake it, m'lady? Totally, let's go! Aw, cuties, cuties! Amy and Sebastian took the dance floor and twirled around like magic. It was great to see, but pretty soon, I was reminded of when Brody and I were named Witch and Wizard of the Halloween Dance. And it was too much to handle. Aww. I'm trying to be strong. But I miss Brody. <gasps> Brody! Excuse me, miss. Can I help you? Brody! Oh, yay. He came to the dance. What are you doing here? You know I can't miss a dance. We've actually never been to a dance together. And yet we were named the prom king and queen. Uh, witch and wizard. Same, same. I'm so glad to see you. How did you get here? It's funny, but I got some help from a friend of mine. <gasps> Mom, you've been talking to Brody. He's been working very hard at Costin Acres and I figured it was time the two of you got to spend some time together. Mom, thank you, girl. Seriously? Of course! You held up your end of the bargain. Just make the most of the time you had together. Does this mean you're moving back and going to school with me? Not yet. But that doesn't mean I can't throw a party for you guys. A party for us? That's right, an after party for the entire school. Let's go. Have fun, honey, and be safe. I'll pick you up later. Let's go. Cool. We walked outside where Brody had arranged for buses to take all of the kids over to his dad's place. This is so cool. Caterers had prepared the best food. DJs were spinning the hottest tracks. Like Disease by Ali Fitz, so download it now if you have not. Brody moved from person to person, thanking them for coming, being the perfect host. But despite this being the most perfect of parties, 
Something was missing, and I couldn't put my finger on it. Hey, Love Cake, this is where you've been hiding. Are you okay? I'm okay, I just, I've been thinking about us, and my mom said, you know, make the most of the time you have together. I think that's great advice. It is, but what happens if you can't come back, or if you don't want to? Love Cake. Or what if you're at some cost and acres party and you find like someone better than me? Not possible. They're all dudes and they're all gross. Brody. I mean, if he were a good looking guy, I'm being serious. You can't worry about that stuff. My future, our future, exactly. You can't worry about it because there's nothing you can do to control it. And every second spent worrying is a second not living in your present. He's right, but no buts. You know what? I know exactly what you need. Meet me on the back deck in five minutes. Where are you going? To change. To what? Should, should I change too? Five minutes? Should I just wait? Yes. I'll wait, because what if I ruin the surprise? I bet he doesn't take long. Dude, Zane, that was killer. Keep it going, everyone. First and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to my parents for helping me set up this crazy night. And I want to thank you all, like seriously, all of you, for being you. The truth is, we're all kind of different, and that kind of rocks. Because if we were the same, things would get boring and probably nothing would get done because of it. So thank you nerds for keeping us informed, and jocks for giving us something to see on Friday nights, and cheerleaders for giving us a better reason to go to football games. Thank you drama kids for being loud and band <laughs> me, I was a drama kid, oh my god. And band kids for being quiet, I was also a band kid, so now I'm confused. Yes, I played the flute for eight years. And the bad kids for sharing their blades with me. Embrace who you are. Own that. Because at the end of the day, that's literally all you have. And so, in this spirit, I want to thank my best friend, my confidant, and my love, Allie Indigo. Come on out. Dang! He just gave me the biggest shout out. Uh, hi everyone. Just like you guys are your own things, Allie is one too. What am I? You've captured my heart and left a trail of chaos in your way. It is literally never dull when I'm with you. You too. Ah, I'm on stage, okay? You're making me blush. So just like each of you is a thing, you, Allie, and I are a thing. And it's pretty clear what that is. We're troublemakers. Duh. Aw, oh, cute. End of episode. That was adorable. Wait, is it over? Okay, there's one more. Let's go in. Brody's party was amazing. Everyone was talking about it at school on Monday. More specifically, they were talking about me and Brody. Which I gotta be honest, was pretty cool. It killed me to see Brody go back to school the next morning. But I will always, always remember the feeling of that night. Are you mad? No. You sound mad. I'm not. It's okay if you're mad. I don't need your permission to be mad. So you are mad. No, I'm just a little annoyed, but it's not your fault. I had no idea about the party. I know. And that it would be taking place the same night as the dance. How could you? And that it would ruin your and Sebastian's moment as ice king and queen because everyone left. So you admit it. Admit what? Sorry, force of habit. Hey Amy, can you call me later? I had a question about our math homework. Okay. Hey Elle. <sighs> oh! That was weird. What's up with you guys now? Honestly, I don't know. I'm not sure we can ever be friends again, but I can't hate her either. That's good. It means you can be friends again. What does she tell you? Nothing. I spend most of my time getting in trouble for you. Oh, true. My bad, Amy. Have you thought about what you want to do for your big day? My birthday? Don't think I didn't know. Just because you ruined my birthday doesn't mean you can't have a nice one. Oh yeah, I remember that. Alice ruined it too. I didn't ruin your birthday. Alice did. You both did. Now go think of things you want to do and we'll get planning. I totally forgot for the first time ever. My birthday is right around the corner and I bet Brody has something special planned because he's rich and he's my man. I could see him taking me to a private island and my mom would probably say yes this time for me to leave the country. And this is the Maryland, which is like the official symbol of Singapore. It's half, 
Would you stop bouncing around so I could take a picture already? But there's so much more to see. Yeah, in our hotel room. Wow. Or on a trip to a faraway land. Oh, my dress cute. Oh, Brody, this is stunning. This is the trip of Paris I wanted you to have. Or maybe one more shot at Paris. So I know they're kind of girly or whatever, but Amy really got me hooked on these Prince Alarming movies, so thanks for coming. If you like them, then I like them. Dude, it's me. I don't like them, but I'll suffer through it as long as I can snug you later. Wow, the tea. That's all I ask. You know what? Dinner in a movie sounds pretty darn good right now. The truth is, it doesn't matter what Brody plans for my birthday, as long as he's a part of it. With him being at a different school, it's been hard to have time for the little things. So if we are gonna spend time together, it's usually an event. Like tonight, we're checking out a club which has potential to be a pretty cool spot. In the event that someone wants to have their birthday here. Someone equals me. Okay, going to a dance club and I wanna look amazing. Let's see, I need something sleek and sexy. Something I can get down in. I want to be the center of attention for this party. It is my birthday. It's going to be me and Brody on that dance floor. Oh yes, we're doing it. I have to. This is too good to pass up. Ooh, and the whip is back, y'all. Time to show this club what I'm all about. Where is everybody? Uh-oh. Hey, baby. Sorry I'm running late. There you are. How come you're not dressed up? Dude, no one cares what I'm looking like. They all want to see you. You right. You think so? Damn, Love Cape, where'd you get that outfit? Why, do you like it? Like it? I'm like two seconds away from tearing it off of you. T. But if you did that, you wouldn't see me dancing it. Okay, but make sure that outfit knows it's on warning. The countdown until it's coming off has started. Brody, you're so bad. You know I am. Now get over here. Wow. My man crazy, y'all. How come you're not changed? Changed? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? I thought we were like going out. We are. I thought so. Okay, if you want the truth, you look killer right now. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. You look incredible. It doesn't matter what I look like. They're all gonna be looking at you. I think you look cute, Amy. Shut up, Sebastian. Not now, honey bear. I think Allie looks like a goddess. So does that kid. Me? You do, don't you? Can I please leave? Please? Oh, stop it, Brody, but thank you. I like it. I'm sorry, I just thought we were making a whole night out of this, that's all. Yes, Isaac came dressed up. Yo, party people, are we doing this or what? See, Isaac got dressed up for the occasion. Dressed up? Oh no, no, this is the natural hotness that flows through my body. Case in point, don't be afraid of it now, girl. I love him. With Isaac in the tow, we headed over to the club. Lestrange. They pronounce strange as strange. Okay, Lestrange, there we go. Which I guess means cool in hip people talk, but it was pretty rad. Amy and Sebastian were getting down in their own way. Isaac was the most popular guy in the place. Seriously, for a guy who's steering clear of drama, he had enough drama to fill a book on either side of him. Dance with me, Isaac. No, dance with me. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I'm obviously gonna keep dancing with both of you. Oh my gosh, Isaac, he's a ladies man. And of course, I'm doing the whip over here. Sorry. <clears throat> and of course, Brody and I cut loose on the dance floor. I gotta admit it, Brody Kaysen is a pretty man. We have been new, sis. We were in our own little world until, <gasps> what happened? Is everything okay? It's fine. Doesn't look fine. Trust me, love cake. I'm gonna run out for a quick second. Where are you going? Just need to make a quick phone call. I'll be back before you know it. Maybe I should come with? No, it's fine, trust me. Okay. Brody, I wonder what's got him so upset. But then the beat picked up. Okay. <laughs> and I got into it in a big way. The beats were hot and the drinks were great. From a trying to see if I wanted to come here for my birthday standpoint, it was a complete success. But from a spending time with my boyfriend standpoint, it was a total failure. But I didn't realize it until it was too late. Me, eating a whole box of pizza. That sounds so good right now. Where the heck is Brody? He said he would only be gone for a few minutes and it feels like it's been forever. Also, the pizza here is pretty good. Okay, I need to figure out where my boyfriend is. I'll check with Isaac, maybe he saw something. Maybe Amy saw where Brody went. I'll see if she knows anything. No, I'm checking with Isaac. Isaac? Isaac! T, I screamed. 
Dude, I was in the zone. Have you seen Brody? Of course I've seen Brody. I've seen Brody my whole life. No, I mean recently. Wait, you interrupted my dancing for that? Well, they got a phone call and it seemed to really upset him, so. So, I was dancing with two girls, Allie. Two girls. You don't really wanna dance with them. Uh, yes I do. I think Brody went out back. Will you come check with me? Nope, I'm gonna find those girls. Ladies, I'm coming. Okay, bye Isaac, thanks for your help. He's having fun, but I gotta go find Brody. Who is he on the phone with? No, you listen. You can't just pull that garbage, okay? I don't care who you are. It's not gonna happen. And there's nothing you can do that would... What? That's not possible. Okay, I'll let you know soon. Brody? Is everything okay? Oh, hi, love cake. Sorry, school drama. What happened? Nothing, just some kids being idiots. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I think we're about ready to go soon. Cool. Allie? Yes? I just, I want you to know that I love you. Why is he saying that unless something's about to happen? What a night! I mean, aside from Brody getting a phone call that changed his tone, I'd say it was a success. Still have to figure out what I'm doing for my birthday, though. Brody took me home. Thanks for driving me, honey. Allie and Brody, you're home. So good to see you. What's going on? Well, as you know, Jeff and I have been seeing each other for some time now, and, and, well, Jeff and I have been thinking that now it might be a good time to move forward. What? You mean like Jeff is moving in? A little more than that. Like what? Get your teacups, y'all. We're getting married. Congratulations. Congratulations? What the hell is this? I knew we shouldn't have sprung it on her like that. Let's go talk with her and explain what's happening. You don't need to explain, I, I know what's happening. Maybe I should go talk to her? Thank you, Brody. Of course, we're doing the right thing, right? Of course we are. She'll come around, I know it. You thought? Mind if I come in? What's going on here? How could she marry him? He's so, he's here. What do you mean? He's here for your mom, for you, for Carrie, and he cares a ton about you. He doesn't even know me, not really. Whose fault is that? You can change it if you want to, but I don't want to. I don't. No, I get it. Change is hard. Trust me, I've been through enough to know. Yeah, but I've also lived through enough life to know that amazing things can come when you least expect them. You think my mom marrying Jeff is going to be amazing? I don't know, maybe. I certainly didn't think too much when a cute girl bugged me in Jacobson's class all that time ago. I was helping. I know, but I also have learned since that day that you're the most amazing human being I could ever imagine. Wow. I love you too, kiddo. The point is, unless you keep yourself open to things, you never know how great they can be and you never know what you might miss. Like, where is he getting all this knowledge from? Like, he went to this school. Maybe we all need to go to Costin Acres. You think I should give this whole stepdad thing a shot? I think you should try it out. You might like it. How did you get so smart? See? I've got the best teacher. Why don't you go talk to them? Okay, I will. Thank you, Love Cake. Oh my gosh, I just called him Love Cake. I just called him Love Cake. Oh, have the turns tabled. Oh, I mean, the tables have turned, whoops. <laughs> You're love cake, I'm a troublemaker. We both are. Aw. Oh, am I 21? That's champagne glass. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm happy for the two of you. And I'm excited. I'm excited about our future as a family. I love you, Mom. And Jeff, thank you for doing the same. I know I'm not the easiest to deal with, but it means the world to have a team like you two in my corner. Congratulations! Now give me a sweet dress for the wedding. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you too. Where did my main man Brody get to? Hmm, he might be outside. Let me check. Brody is right. I need to embrace my mom's future. Just like I need to embrace my own. I don't know what the world has in store for me, but I know that no matter what life throws my way, there's nothing we can't do. Together. Aww. I've said all like 65 times. My bad. Brody? The speech was fantastic. I really think they're going- I'm sorry, Allie. For what? It's over.
we're over. What? He said what? What? I can't be with you anymore. Says who? Brody. And I never want to see you again. No. Brody. What? That phone call. It's definitely that phone call that made him say that. I chased after him, but he got on his bike and rode away. I called and called, but he wouldn't answer his phone. Everything went ignored. Out of nowhere, Brody has left me a broken mess. And I don't even know why. I cried all night, sobbing over and over again. But hot tears seared my face as the sun rose on a new day. Dang. He just left? He just broke up with me and then left? This can't be the end. This can't. From my bedroom window, I saw Brody's mom's house and the for sale sign in front of the yard that crushed my soul. For sale? What just happened? Dear dumbass, I did it. I did the thing that I never thought I could. I'm devastated, truly, deeply. I love her. I love Allie. And it's because I love her, I have to leave her. Why? I'm sorry, kiddo, but we have to. You know that. Whatever. Take a minute if you need, but hurry up. We have to go. I know. Where are you going? I had to break her heart to save her. That's the only way. I think my mom knew something about it too. And she can never know why. What? You finished Troublemaker. What happens next? Find out in season two, trouble make double trouble. That was the end, and how dare they leave me like that? Wow, okay. For those of you who want me to start chapter two, I will start it probably next week, but I'm also starting a new game, so that'll probably come first, and then episode, so don't you worry. And if you enjoyed this video and want more videos, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my social medias. They should be down below. We need to talk about this episode because, wow. He just broke up. That is crazy. Comfort me, y'all, on Twitter. Tell me I'm cute. So yeah, have a great day in the name of the Lord, and may God bless you every step.